Hello Heroes! Today we are going to see how to make an animated line and apply it to our menu links. This line will be designed with a simple border. For this video tutorial we are using a starter template from Astra theme. We've chosen a template with some decorative lines to create a coordinated effect with the rest of the page. In this tutorial you will learn about two important CSS features. The first one covers how to create a CSS pseudo class. The second one will cover how to apply a hover state to an element. Let's now click the element of the menu and select the menu link. By clicking here, we can directly write our new selector. In CSS Hero, we've bundled an intelligent engine to generate CSS selectors, which 90% of the time works perfectly and does not require any fix by the user. Moreover, close to the CSS selector we've chosen, you always find the number of selectors found with the same class. This means that all five elements will be affected by the CSS changes you make. Now we need to modify the selector by generating the pseudo class before. To create the before element, we need to type the following CSS syntax, colon, before. Let's take a quick look at pseudo classes. A pseudo class is used to define a special state of an element. For example, it can be used to style an element when a user mouses over it, style visited and unvisited links differently, or for example, style an element when it gets focus. For a complete list of all the pseudo classes, you can visit w3schools.com. You will find the link in the description. In our case, the before pseudo class inserts content before the CSS element. Before and after pseudo classes can be used to create crazy design effects. Okay, now let's add and explain the CSS code we need to apply to the before element. The display block displays an element as a block element, like a paragraph. So it starts on a new line and takes up the entire width. In fact, width 100% allows us to have the line displayed along the entire block. The content code needs only to display our pseudo element and add content. The content property is used with the before and after pseudo elements to insert generated content. Position absolute will draw our line in a specific location. This means that the element is positioned relative to its first positioned ancestor element. Bottom and left are both zero, so the line will be at the bottom left of the whole div. To hide this border in the normal state, we need to use the transform properties. The last CSS code, transition, creates the animation during the transition from normal to hover state. Let's generate the hover effect now. We can select the hover state of this element by clicking here at the top where it says status and selecting hover from the drop down menu. Now we can add the CSS code that will make our animated border appear. The transform CSS rule will draw our borderline. Click the navigate toggle state to turn off CSS hero selection tool. Okay, now let's see the effect by hovering the mouse over the menu links. Finally, let's change the borders color to one that matches the site's design better. Let's activate again the CSS hero edit state. To select again the pseudo before class, you need to click again the menu link with the right mouse click and select the pseudo class element from the drop down menu. Let's use the CSS variables tool to find a color that suits our needs. In the topper menu, Click the project link and choose variables. This will allow you to see and edit all variables declared in your WordPress theme. Choose this color and add it manually to the border color code. Okay, great. Let's see again the border animation effect. Good job. And don't forget to click the save button at the bottom. Well done heroes! If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to our channel, leave me a comment, or just like this video. Goodbye!